Well, we uh, ended the last video uh, weeping with John because no one could be found to open the scroll. It looks for a moment that history is going to be left to spin out of control. However, something is about to happen. Let's read the next few verses of chapter 5, verses 5 to 6. It says this, Then one of the elders said to me, Do not weep. See, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, is triumphed. He is able to open the scroll and its seven seals. And I saw a lamb looking as if it had been slain, standing at the centre of the throne, encircled by the four living creatures and the elders. The lamb had seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. Remember that we have entered into the door uh, standing open in heaven, and John has led us into the very centre of God's presence, into his throne room. But when the climax comes, there's found to be no one to unfurl God's purposes in the world. We weep with John. But wait, one of the 24 elders turns to John and says, Stop weeping, the Lion King is here. He can open the scroll with the seven seals. This Lion King is, the, is, is one of the tribe of Judah and the root of David. We're back in the Old Testament with the prophecies of one to come who will rule forever over the whole of the cosmos. Genesis 49 and Isaiah 11 speak of the Lion of Judah and the root of David respectively. Well, we're told the one we've been waiting for is here. The Lion King has arrived. But then John looks and he doesn't see a Lion King, but a lamb that looks slain. Quite clearly, this is Jesus Christ. And this is massively subversive. Instead of a mighty beast, we see a slaughtered lamb. Instead of power, imperial glory and might, violence, worldly wisdom that suggests that power might be exhorted over people, uh, lorded over people, exerted and down treading others, we have a lamb who was slain on the cross. This is surely folly and weakness. Well, yes, it is. And that's how God's kingdom works. From the point of view of the world, this is just utter madness. But look, as the elder said to John, here is the one who has actually conquered and become king, the lamb who was slain on the cross. Through the folly and the weakness of the cross, Jesus Christ has conquered. He is both the lion and the lamb. Jesus the King reigns from the cross, he has all strength, that's the seven horns there, and he has all knowledge, that's the seven eyes uh, there, and he is all present, that's the spirit, seven spirits of God over all the earth. And later on in chapter 5 we'll see that he receives the worship of all of heaven, because he was slain for the sins of the world, and by his slain blood he has ransomed people for God. And this lion lamb is the only one who's able to open the scrolls, the seals of the scrolls, and unfurl God's purposes in history. And we'll see uh, when we get into chapter 6 that these purposes sometimes look and feel like confusion and chaos, but they are instigated by the lion lamb who was slain. Here's the point. What we see with our eyes are not necessarily what's actually going on. The way we usually see victory and success isn't actually how God works, and it isn't how he wants his people to live and to work in this world. He isn't what's going to win the day. In the end, the Lamb, Jesus Christ, conquers through his death. And that means that when our culture proclaims the death of the church, don't be fooled. Jesus, the Lion Lamb, who conquered through death, is still on the throne. This means that when we, the church, feel defeated and criticised and beleaguered, we don't give up. We keep trusting God. The ultimate defeat was at the cross. And yet through that defeat, the Lamb was victorious. It may not be easy. But we can look with John and behold the lamb on the throne. Maybe you're weeping, broken hearted, downtrodden. Weep no more, says John. Behold the lamb who was slain, sitting on the throne. There he is in our reading, right at the centre of the vision. This isn't a call to get a grip, but a recognition, a recognition that even in those moments of great weeping, what we experience now, what we see with our eyes now is not the whole story and certainly not the end of the story. The lamb who was slain, Jesus the Christ, has conquered through death and he is worthy to open the scroll and let history unfold according to God's purposes. Behold, the lion lamb king, Jesus the Christ, has conquered.